hi guys welcome back so guys in this video we will be breaking down how routing works basically we will be learning basic routing with react router okay so while doing that we will understand what is browser router what is routes root link component everything we will be discussing so before we start let's understand what we are going to cover up in this video so we are going to see what is browser router first of all then we are going to understand what is route and routes then we are going to understand what is link component then we are going to set up basic routing for pages we are going to do it practically so that you get to know how you can actually do it in your project then we are going to create separate files for links and then finally interview question we are going to look at so guys before we start consider subscribing to the channel and if you are not aware there is a complete playlist on react router version 7 on my channel make sure to check that so let's see first of all uh, before we directly dive deep into the code let's understand few of the terminologies uh, which will be helpful for you going forward okay so see guys what is browser router first of all so it is a component that enables client side routing in a react app using html5 history api it's a wrapper that lets you use routes and links without it routing won't work so guys there is a lot of information in this line first of all what is client side client side routing so in the last video i have also given you this example that when you go to react.dev website if you see this type of routing which is happening this is called as client side routing you will notice that the page is not at all re getting refreshed whereas if i will take you to a site like amazon.com just notice when i am changing my navigation the entire website is getting refreshed okay you can see it is getting refreshed so this is called a server side rendering okay whereas on the client side rendering everything is happening on a single page application and it does not refreshes the page okay so if you want to implement uh, routing on your application you need to wrap your component or uh, main component or app with the browser router you can say that okay so that is what it is written here that it's a wrapper that lets you use routes and links without it routing won't work in your application okay now moving on what is root and root uh, basically what is roots and root okay so basically roots is like a container for all your root definition so there is a container like this okay roots and inside that there will be one individual root okay like so what the work of this root is root will basically define the actual path and component to render so we have already seen this syntax in the last video we will see it in more detail in today's video also so in this way you will mention the path on which you want to like you know uh, on a on a particular path which component should render so you mention it in this way okay now you might be thinking what is the actual usage of this roots so guys you must have understood uh, like studied the concept of switch case right like how switch case works like you have different different cases and whichever cases match that particular code runs right so same is the case here that roots is handling different or multiple root inside it and it basically matches your url path okay and whichever matches then it renders that component so i hope you understood uh, individual root is basically to set the path and element uh, or component for that particular path but roots is handling multiple roots okay moving on what is link now link is an important component and in fact all these things that we are studying this browser router this roots and root and this link all are react components only okay nothing else so uh, which are provided to us by react router now link what is link okay so instead of using anchor tags uh, that reload the page react router gives us link to navigate without refreshing it keeps the app smooth and a single page application like i'll i'll make you understand in easier terms what it means is like guys understand one thing that uh, when we implement a uh, application okay for example uh, react dev slash community is giving me this page which is react community page on the other hand react dev slash reference slash react is giving me this page now it is very easy for me to navigate when i'm clicking on these buttons right on the other hand what if i just have to remember all of this okay like i don't know what button there is no button on the website i just have to remember that you know if i will go to this path this will open and if i will type community then it's this will open this is not very user friendly right so we you always what we do is we keep some buttons on the website so that when we click on it automatically the path should update and based on that path the page should load okay that is what the concept of links okay now but you might think that you know why are we doing this with a separate link component we already have anchor tags right for that and we can use anchor tags and that will also do the same purpose so that is what is explained here that when you do this with anchor tag you end up having situation something like this where the entire page will load and you don't want your page to load right in your uh, this one uh, react application you want that it should be treated as a single page application so that is why what you do is you make use of this link component which is provided to you by the 
react router okay and this is how the syntax of link component looks like basically your text will go in between and you basically mention the path okay which you want it to like which uh, the path which you want that the url should be updated with for example when i click on contact my url should be updated with slash contact okay so this is the major concepts i hope now it is clear now before we move on forward uh, let's what what we are going to do is we are going to do all of this in the code okay so let me go to my code editor okay hi, here i am in the code editor now what i will be doing first of all is uh, let's first of all run our application okay so i am going to run npm run dev okay and this will like run my application on local host so for understanding what i have done is uh, better understanding i have created this simple structure okay where what is happening is we don't have anything as of now no routing nothing we are going to start from scratch i just have a application which is react application and i'm just showing you a basic text on the screen okay now what we are going to do we are going to first go to our main component and we are going to wrap it inside uh, our app component inside the browser router because we have already seen the importance of browser router right so you can see import browser router from react router okay and here i am going to write browser router and this is how my this one, and i am going to put my app component inside my browser router okay then so far so good and let's see by refreshing the app it is not breaking which means it is working absolutely fine now what is our main goal now let's understand what we are going to achieve in this uh, example or application we are going to create first of all three pages okay i am going to write it over here so that you can understand better we are going to have three pages first of all okay what are those three pages going to be so the pages are going to be our home page about page and then one more page we are going to create which is login page once the pages are created these pages are nothing but the components in itself okay so once these are created we will be setting up routing for them okay and once the routing is also set up we will also be setting up links for them okay so let's do this one by one first of all as a step one i am going to create these three components okay so i am just going to create my normal react component so i'm i will start first with home.jsx okay and the uh, uh, afce this will give me the basic component then the next component that i'm going to create is about.jsx okay r a f c e and next component that i'm going to create is login.jsx okay now what i will do is i instead of writing this just one word i will write this is home page to make it more meaningful and readable for us and i will make it as a h1 so that you know it looks big and this thing i will do same in all the three components that i have okay created so here also instead of dev we are going to have this is about a page okay something like this uh then next is our login page so here also i will be doing the same thing this is login page so guys if you see right now we have created three pages what i will be doing is i will be going to my app component and uh, i will be importing all these three pages okay so import home and then next that we are going to have is import about next step we are going to have is import login okay so we have imported all the three pages now the next step is to set up routing for all of them how we are going to do is we have already seen in the previous video we are we need two things basically we need root and we need roots okay so first thing is we need roots and one more thing that we need is root for all the individual roots basically okay so here i am going to create the parent wrapper which is going to be roots and inside this our individual root will go okay so as of now the first root i am going to set up and this will take two things as we have already seen in the syntax the path so first for home page i just want to give the path as a slash and the element is going to be home page okay home component basically which we have created okay in the similar way i am going to create two more routes okay two more root which is for my like uh, login component and my about component so for this one i am going to put about and here what i need in the path is when my path is about then uh, please render my about component okay and for home the h was h needs to be capitalized and for this one i i need my login component to render when when my path is slash login okay so so far we have uh, like set up the routing let's go to our web browser and let's see 
I'm going to refresh the application. You can see by default, it is showing my, this is home page because as I already told you in the previous video, slash means it will by default show your uh, home page. Okay. So this is how it is working. When you don't add anything, which means you are showing some, which, uh, which means you are showing slash. Okay. You can understand in that way. Now let's try to change the path. Okay. So I'm going to put it like about, it is showing me, this is about this page. Now what I will be doing is I will be putting my other root which is login and this is showing me login page as of now if you have observed that this is taking a lot of like you know it is not possible in a large application that you always type your roots in the browser url right so you need some buttons okay via which you can click and then automatically your url will be updated and your new page will be opened so let's do that now so for that i told you we have a component called as link component which we get from react router okay so this is what the component is link component and how does this work let me show you so inside my div only i will be creating uh like basically s3 okay and inside that i will be having a link and in this link i need some text okay basically so first text is going to be home okay and it expects an attribute called as to inside this we have to mention the path okay so the path is going to be this one okay this this is extra curly bracket so let's save it and in the same way i am going to create three links okay so one two and three and first one was home second is about and third one is login and i just want that when i click on about my url should be updated with about okay i hope you are understanding what is the need of all of this okay and saving it let's go to our application you can see i've got three links okay when i click on login you will notice that this got updated to slash login and my page also got updated when i click on about it is happening for same for that also okay and home it is happening same for this also and you might also notice that our application is not getting refreshed because we are using link component instead of anchor tag okay so this is what we have achieved now one more step further usually we don't put links like this okay this is a part of navigation bar right so what we can do is uh, we can create a separate navbar okay so navbar.jsx this is basically a react component i'm creating and uh, let me export also export default navbar okay and here inside this one i'm going to write that logic okay or that code which i have written there so this is basically the separation of concern. We are not writing too much of code inside our app component because this way it is much readable. And now what I will be doing is I will be importing my navbar here. Okay. So I will import my navbar here and I will just write it like this. Okay. Now it will break. Okay. As of now it will break because why so we are using links, but we have not imported it yet. Right. So we need to import link in our navbar component also. Now let's go and see everything should run fine. And if you can notice here, everything is working just smoothly, right? So in this one single video, we have learned a lot of things. Like let's get back to our, like, you know, that slide. So here, if you see what all we have studied so far, we have, first of all, understood what is browser router we have seen what is root and roots we have then understood what is link component and then we have set up our basic routing for three different pages that was our home page our about us page and then login page okay and then we have also created a separate file for links which was our navbar okay and now is the time for us to look at one interview question which is kind of important based on this concept let's see what is the question why do we use link instead of anchor in the react router I hope by now you already got the answer for it because we have already discussed this in the video. So the answer for this is because link prevents full page reloads and ensures a smooth navigation using React's virtual DOM. It maintains SPA behavior, SPA as in single page application behavior. So guys, I hope you have understood the explanation. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. Make sure to join me on Telegram and follow me on Instagram as well. And make sure to subscribe to the channel to receive all the latest regular updates from my channel. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching the video.